Okay, I can't even. I think about this commercial and I weep. It's a commercial that warped hearts everywhere. The music, the emotion, the happiness, the joy. See, I'm gonna cry. I really am. On those women's faces, they were experiencing the joy of sledding all over again. Listen, those marketing executives, they got us. It's pure magic. And that is the inspiration behind today's trend alert. Snow sledding is an activity the kids will always love, but some adults are making it more of a sport these days. Studio 5 trend tracker Mindy Dunyon is here to weigh us in. I mean, did you ball? I'm Look glad, at you. I'm glad that I'm not the only one who cries. I cry every time I see it. There was a night in bed. This was pre-Christmas, but I was going to bed and I thought about it. I like made myself cry. I'm like, like stop you it. You weren't even watching yes, it. Yes. It was like marketing magic. I loved it. And it's so true. Like none of us really think about sledding as this pure joy thing that can right. bring like joy to our adulthood. And yeah. so it really sparked this whole thing, just making me think, oh, we can have some fun. We can go sledding. And here's the kick as you looked into it. That was an Amazon commercial. Yeah. What they were sledding on wasn't even a sled. Okay, I was so curious because I thought it was a sled, so yeah. I was trying to buy it. It's a office chair cushion. <laughs> this, this is the memory maker, the magic maker. So I did have to order it. I don't know if I'll ever put it inside a sled, <laughs> but it actually is a good idea. One of those toboggan sleds. You yeah. could pop it in there and have a nice soft ride. How does or this feel? if you want to have a more comfy office chair, here you go, how does it feel? Yeah, no, that would be a good cushion. That's a good pillow to slide down the hill on. Well, right when it arrived, my husband was like, can I put this in my office? <laughs> You're like, no, it's going on the it's, sled. It's a sledding product, come yeah. on. Yeah, and there was a Utah couple kind of inspired by that movie as well. Yes, which I thought was so great. Um, KSL News covered this, but they called it their senior snow day. <laughs> and they went tubing in their own yard on the side driveway Way, which was just so fun. They said they had the time of their life. Come on, you can't not smile. When you look right? at that double negative, it. but come on, they're all positive. <laughs> Senior snow day, I love it. Well, speaking of new ways to sled, you found a really cool activity that people are trying out. Yeah, so I've been seeing people post about this and I've been so curious, but this is kind of called extreme sledding or okay. trail sledding. Okay. There's videos um, on YouTube that show how awesome this is, but basically, you hike up a trail and then sled all the way down. What if someone's coming up? <laughs> well, okay, okay, I'm going to get into this. There are a lot of things to keep in mind. Okay, so, okay. I, I don't want to tell people to do anything where they are going to hurt someone. Right. It is kind of, I found some workarounds okay, to make it so a little more safe. Let's pause and say, how fun. Yes. And then, yeah, let's be, I mean, I yeah. don't want to take away from the fun because that looks amazing. Yes. But responsibly, how do you do this? Okay, I went yesterday and I was a little nervous about all of that. I found the perfect spot. So I went up, it's called Porter Fork Trailhead up okay. Mill Creek. And it was a little more safe because we hiked up this kind of wide trail. It's more like a, it's an actually a paved road that has snow on it. Uh -huh. People are cross country skiing. People were snowboarding down. So it's kind of made for more recreation like that. People know it for that. Yes. And when you're on the sled. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't seem like it, but you actually have a lot of control. So I came across a number of people, and you can slow down. You can pull over to the side. So uh -huh. just watch out for people. Yeah. Watch out for dogs. Wear a helmet. I mean, I never crashed, but still wear a helmet. Yes. Um, a big thing, I didn't wear snow pants. Oh, and, oh no. And like hiking up, I was like, this is perfect. You get yeah. really wet. Well, the, sure. Like the snow flies so all So you're like you. goggles and all of it. Yes, wear snow pants and gloves. Because the way these uh, sleds work, the way to steer, you have to kind of put your hand in the snow. Yes. So we did have gloves, which we were happy for. But yes. just be prepared and be mindful. Look for avalanche conditions and think about all the obstacles. Like if you could fly off, the road, <laughs> yeah. don't go there because yeah, it can truly. get scary. Yes, absolutely. So safety first for sure. Yeah. Uh, where might you do this? Are there fun designated areas like that? So that was a really fun place. I've heard people say Tibble Fork, um, Neffs Canyon, there's places in Park City. And I mean, it hadn't snowed for days and it was still really fun yesterday. How I think fun. if it had just snowed and you had powder, that would be like magical and so fun. We have uh, gone sledding together as a family so many times and I'm glad you mentioned that like inner joy or that youth like right? joy that it brings out of you. Like it is so fun to be flying down a hill. It's so fun. Okay, there's some sleds that make it more fun. Yes, okay, so if you're going to do the hike sledding or trail sledding, you need a sled like this. So these are the two that I recommend. First, this is the missile sled. Okay. And I love it because it was easy to hook to our backpacks and hike up. You want something really lightweight. Mm -hmm. But then what is the 
like most important thing about this is it's it keeps you forward facing. You know how sometimes you're on a sled yes. and your sled turns sideways and you have no control? Right. You have a lot of control with this and you ride it kind of like luge style. So you sit back here, you hold on, and then you keep your feet up in front of you. Oh, how fun. And then to steer, you just kind of lean into the to the curve yeah. and you put your hand out the way you want to turn. Okay. It was like, we were nervous. We wouldn't be able to get a, a hang of it, but it was so quick and so easy. And we ended up, sledding down a mile and a half and it oh was so gosh. fun. Oh my gosh, how fun with girlfriends or are you just, yeah, oh I my gosh. A friend. So then this is the other recommended sled. This is the Zip B. Wow. Um, this one the, is a little bit less than the missile one, but this one I think is like $50. Mm -hmm. It operates the same, except rather than holding onto the side, you just hold onto the handle. Okay. And then when you make your turn, you hold on with one hand and just put your hand out on the side. But again, this one gives you amazing control it doesn't go quite as fast, so that's kind of where I break it down. If you want one that goes faster, the mm -hmm. missile's great, but if you want one that goes a little bit slower and more controlled, then the Zip B is great. And if you want something less expensive altogether, you've got a $15 option for it? Yeah, so this one comes from Amazon. This is the rocket sled. This, I'm, I'm like, truthfully, it doesn't handle like these ones. It doesn't perform. <laughs> But it's an easy one to hike with because okay. it's lightweight and you can kind of strap it to your backpack. Okay, while we're on the topic, a few yeah. more fun products you found to help us tap into this sledding joy. Yes, okay, so there's a really popular uh, inflatable tube, the L.L. Bean ones, people love mm. those, but they're quite expensive, but those are like so high quality the and primo. so great. Yeah. If you're looking for an Amazon knockoff, I found this one. Um, it's great because you can find a lot of in inner tubes, but this one has the canvas cover, so okay. it will last longer. It won't get damaged. And what's a snow scooter? Okay, that's the the scooter down what? front. It kind of looks like a snowboard. Oh, my a kids would love this. They were out last night, like on the icy oh. sidewalk. So my kids, when they were a little bit younger, had something similar to this. I've never and seen that this. was their favorite thing to use. You definitely don't want a huge snow hill, right. but something small, that's really fun. Well, I'm thinking the little hills in our neighborhood. That would right, be a really just good. Right, the rolling hills. Yes, where do you get that? Amazon? Um, that's Amazon as well. We'll be picking a few of those up. Mindy, yes. thank you so much. You're welcome. Fun sledding trends, and we're still drying our eyes from that darn commercial, which started <laughs> the whole conversation. Nice job.